Hi, I'm Heidi Fannin with Kitchen Kids, and this is Marin de Sonia. And Marin's gonna make spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash. So this one actually comes from one of my friend's gardens, Janet Mrazik. Thank you. So we're gonna use that one today. So how do you start? Well, you start with poking holes all around the squash. You may want to have an adult help you because the knife is sharp and it's hard to get it through. Yes. And you want to poke holes in it to let all the steam out of the squash. Excellent. And how long does a squash need to, to bake in the oven? Um, at 375 for an hour. Wow. So all you do is you take this whole thing, mm -hmm. you put some holes in it, you put it in a pan, and then what? You bake it for an hour. Oh my gosh. All right. So let's put it in the oven. Now how easy is that? Right? So it baked for an hour and did you say if it doesn't seem soft enough you should bake it for another 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. And then it should be soft. And that should be soft enough. Okay. So then you cut it in half. Nice work. And look at that. Next you're going to want to scoop all the seeds out. Okay. So we want to scoop that, right? Yes. I'll do one side, you do the other side. So you scoop out the seeds. Right here. Yep. And can you imagine each one of these seeds makes a whole nother plant. And and these actually grow on the ground. So these are they're not root vegetables. Root vegetables grow in the ground like carrots in the dirt. These actually travel along and are right on the ground. Okay, so we we got all the seeds out, right? Yep. And it kind of looks like what? Well, spaghetti. Just, yeah, it looks like strands of spaghetti. And actually, a lot of people use um, strands of this instead of actual spaghetti if um, for to eat healthier, or just or because um, they can't eat spaghetti. Right. So a lot of people that have gluten intolerances that love spaghetti, this is a great alternative, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So you've learned to do a lot of gluten-free recipes, haven't you? Yes. Your family is mostly gluten-free. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. So then you're going to want to scoop out the sides. Okay. And a lot can come out of just a half. Wow. Cool. This is pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Can't wait to eat this. So. That's just how much you get out of one. I was surprised when I first did it, how much could come out of one. just a half. And you can get, there's a lot on the sides too, in the hidden places. Nice. So. You know, when I was shopping for the, the rest of the ingredients at, at Piggly Wiggly on Washington Avenue, um, what was cool is I saw these there too. So they're easily accessible year round, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. All right, so what do we do next? Um, next. You will take a pan. Okay. And you are going to put the spaghetti strands in there. And I like to fry it up with some garlic and some cilantro, but and some Parmesan cheese. But another way to do it is to um, just add butter or pesto. Oh, excellent. So why don't we try both? Okay. Okay. Next, you want to add about a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half of butter, and put that in the pan. Okay. Let it melt a little. Turn it on. Excellent. So we'll let the butter melt mm -hmm. and then we just add, then you put the garlic in there to add infuse yep. of butter. And then you will want to add the um, basil or spaghetti squash okay. and cut up the basil. Or, okay. Um, what you can you use a, um, basil or heck you could even use cilantro oh, or yeah. you could use um, I can't remember the name. Me too, me neither. <laughs> what is it called? Come on, it's an easy one. Come on, smell it. You know what it is? Parsley? Parsley! Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so that's melting. Do you want to take half of this? Yes. A little more than half? Because we're going to try the two different kinds. We're going to try this kind, and, and then we're going to do pesto. the pesto kind. Awesome. So. You go right ahead. Get okay. dirty. Get all dirty. That's all right. Okay. That's I got a dog. He'll clean it up. Huh. Okay. You got the other half. Yep. 
Okay. And then and then you're gonna put the garlic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that sounds great. Butter, garlic, little parsley. Anything else? Salt and pepper at all or not? Um, you can if you want to add more flavoring, but I. I like mine with um, this is hard, isn't it? butter. Yeah. There we go. And That's then we we'll use that knife. And scrape it. There you go. Garlic makes everything better, doesn't it? And it adds a lot of flavor. It really does. Sometimes my kids say they don't like onion or garlic, and I go, "You, they have no idea how much they're eating it, mm -hmm. right?" It adds a lot of flavor. A lot of flavor. Mm, that looks good. It smells good already. Mm -hmm. Where did you find this recipe? Um. Well, we found it on the internet a long time ago. Okay. I, my mom knew it way before I. Okay. So you're getting the parsley ready. Okay. Yes. So we're, we have the parsley or a bunch. Okay. While well, we're getting the Parmesan Parmesan cheese ready. Okay. And then we want to dice it. Can I show you a little secret way? Yes. I bet you already know. But this prevents getting hot. It is going like oh, yeah. this. Because the, the knife, and then you can just go like this. And your hands are free. And then I don't worry about you cutting it. You want to try it? Sure. So like you can use the palm of your hand. There you go. That's good. That, yeah. Excellent. And when you chop the, the parsley like that, you can already, the infuses, you can smell the juices, yeah. right? It's awesome. Great. Okay, so then that goes in right there, yep. right now? Okay. Wunderbar. Oh, and it makes it beautiful, yes. right? Many colors. Many colors. We need colorful food. So, the cheese, you say you put on the top at the end, or? Um, yeah, you want it a little lower, okay. but just so it doesn't melt on the pan. Okay, so. I'll stir this up a little. Okay. It's pretty high. This is a really hot, hot burner right there. So we can turn it down a little and then add the cheese. Okay. And you, you want the cheese more for a topping, or you want it like um, melted in there? I like mine melted, but you can add it as a topping. Okay, here you go. So your recipe calls for Parmesan cheese, is that right? Yes, but okay. you can add your favorite cheese. Okay. And how old are you, Myron? I am 10. Myron's 10 and she's cooking in the kitchen like this. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Well, I think we should try it, don't you? Yes. Now, this is so easy. You put it in the oven for an hour. You scoop it out. You let it cool a little bit? Yep, just a little bit. And then, how, how easy is that? Let's give this one a try and then we'll try the pesto one. All right. So, have anyone ever have you tried this before? I have. I think I, I haven't. Ha I think I have. Yeah. I haven't. And you have it. Awesome. Okay. So let's give it a try. Um, we gotta give Justin. Justin's gotta have some. Thank you. You're gluten free too. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That's so good. What do you think? I like it. Mmm. Thumbs up. Some butter. And then we're gonna add the other half of the spaghetti squash. Okay. And then add a little bit of pesto, like a spoonful of pesto. So what did you say about your pesto before? Um, until my mom got me to try pesto, I thought it was just the weird molding thing in the back of my refrigerator. <laughs> and then I tried it. And then she tried it, and then she it's liked really it, right? Really good, yes. Awesome. It has a lot of flavor. So do you, which one do you, which trust do you like better? The first one that you did, or the pesto one? Hmm. I really like pesto, but the gutter butter garlic one is really good too. Okay, I can't wait to try the pesto one too. Yeah. Sorry. So that's all. That's only. That's all the amount that you use. Uh, um, you can add more. I don't know how much you like, so. I think I would put in more. Okay. I'm a pesto kind of gal. I think we're gonna have to do in this in the summertime when it's nice out, and I've got a bunch of pesto in my garden. We're gonna have to make not pesto in my garden, basil in my garden. We're gonna have to make yeah. some pesto. Yes. All right, so this is just in a small pan. Yep. You guys see that? You can use a bigger pesto. Too. Did or you? You don't need to put garlic or anything in there. Just the pesto. Um, no, if you want more flavor, it depends what kind of okay. flavorful person you are. Do you put cheese in there, in this um, one or not? Usually no. Okay. I don't, but you can if you want. To. Okay, so all of this second one was was the spaghetti squash cooked, and then you warmed it up on, with some butter after you stripped it and then added pesto. That's it? Yep. Basically, you can add other things And dinner's want. done. Mm -hmm. All right, let's give it a try. Let's. 
Give it a try. Okay. I got my fork back to you. Okay. I'll, I'll, uh, we'll just have us try this one and then. You ready? Uh -huh. Oh, you've been doing it. I've been uh -huh. doing it. Ooh, the pesto is a totally different taste. Mm -hmm. It's like a completely different meal. Well, thank you, Marin, so much for thank helping you. us. Yes, Kitchen Kids loves you. Now the Kitchen Kids. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, also a big thank you to Ralph Maliki from the Piggly Wiggly in Racine on Highway 20 for donating the ingredients. We're grateful. Thank you.